Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. It is time now for our segment, Veteran Salute, our chance to honor heroes in this area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Kelly Peltier introduces us to Air Force veteran Tammy Askren. My chief, my commander, and myself. That's Air Force veteran Tamara Askren. And that worked out pretty good. Her military career started when she was in college. Money got tight, and the Air Force says, well, we've got this great program called Bootstrap. You come in, and we'll, we'll pay for the rest of your nursing. The experience took her career in an unexpected direction. I don't know how much further you can get from being a nurse other than working on asphalt and concrete, but that was Uncle Sam's plan. She was sent to Edwards Air Force Base in Palmdale and trained as a civil engineer. Challenge coin. One of the highlights of her career happened at this time when she and her crew prepared the landing strip for the Columbia Space Shuttle. We're up on the hill waiting for it to land, and all we're hoping for is it doesn't trip on its nose. And it landed and we were all happy and life was good. After a few more good years in Palmdale, her next stop was McConnell Air Force Base. <laughs> she worked in asphalt, concrete, and airfield repair. She later transitioned to special weapons, working on Titan missiles in the Air Reserves. At the time, the reserves were setting up a small unit of civil engineers like Askren that she's proud to be a part of. The CE trains for what you hope will never happen. Uh, we train to make a bed down area with nothing more than an airfield and a source of water. And my team and I could do that. After 30 years of service, her training was put to the test when her commander asked her for her help on a major mission during the United States military's last surge into Afghanistan. I need you and I need you now. He says we need to build uh, a bed down area for these guys. Thousands of soldiers were traveling out of the war zone and into Kyrgyzstan and needed places to stay. So with a small crew, Askren and her team built a tent city in 43 days. And this young Marine. With a 60 mile stare, walks into my tent and he said, and his, his face lit up, and he smiled, and he says, if we have electrical plugs, I can call my mom and let her know I'm okay. And one she'll never forget. That's why I did what I did for all those years, was for that kid. Askren got home to Wichita in 2011 and had a hero's welcome. They just made us feel so welcome back home. And it was, it was a tough, it was a tough six months. Uh, we didn't get shot at. We just worked really, really hard, and uh, but we got it done. She retired after 36 years of service and now lives with her husband, Don, a fellow retired veteran. Working for you, Kelly Peltier, 27 News. We're highlighting veterans in our community, and we do it every week, just like Tammy. In fact, Tammy's husband, who you just saw there, will also be featured in our Veteran Salute segment in the coming weeks. If you'd like to nominate someone for this particular segment, all you've got to do is go to KSNT.com. You click on this story for information on exactly how to do it. And every week that we do this, each veteran receives a surprise. Take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that Senior Master Sergeant Tammy Askren, who faithfully served our country for 37 years in the United States Air Force. Thank you so much for your service. Tammy, we're excited to present you with a check for $500. I was proud to serve. Thank you. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.